As perhaps many of you already know through the media, it was announced today at the Vatican that His Holiness Pope Francis has appointed as Auxiliary Bishop of Hartford the Reverend Juan Miguel Betancourt Torres, SEMV, assigning him to the titular see of Curzola. I want to make this uh, personal word uh, of greeting and rejoicing at this appointment of Bishop Betancourt. Coming as it does on the eve of the 175th anniversary of the Archdiocese in November, the appointment of Father Betancourt is a cause for rejoicing, not only for me personally, but for all our clergy, religious, and laity. For me and for our clergy, it means the welcome of arrival of a dedicated co-worker in the Lord's Vineyard who brings a variety of talents and experiences to our shared ministry. For the laity of the Archdiocese, in all of its present-day diversity, Father Betancourt's Hispanic Latino heritage will only enhance the pastoral care that he will exercise for the good of everyone of every race and ethnicity. For those in religious life, Father Betancourt's membership in the Society of the Servants of the Eucharist and Mary only serves to underscore the value and contribution that consecrated religious men and women make to the good of the Church. And I ask you now to please join me in welcoming Bishop-elect Betancourt to the Archdiocese and to the State of Connecticut. So, I just want to share with you that I'm very honored and grateful to be entrusted by the Holy Father to this mission of service in the Lord's Church here in Hartford. And right now, um, my prayers, of course, um, are for uh, my parish community, my religious community, and um, the seminary community back in St. Paul. But of course now, um, my prayers for all of you, my new family in the Archdiocese of Hartford, which I am looking forward to, um, to get to know and to serve. As I was reflecting on the call to service in the church, this call to ministry, I am aware that comes with a great responsibility. And we're called to stand at the heart of the church with a testimony of faith and love and fidelity and service. Like I said, I'm looking forward to meeting you all, to get to know you, and to serve you to the best of my ability with the Lord's help and the intercession and protection of the Blessed Lord. 